Bonjour. Je Hello, Adele I'm Adele Oyango, and I come from Kenya. And that is exactly as far as my French will take me. So, <laughs> um, I, I'm really honored and happy to be here today um, because I think it is no secret that the current relationship between Africa and France is complicated. And in order for us to build a relationship that addresses issues that affect not only Africa, not only France, but the globe, then it's important for us to interrogate this very complicated relationship and ask ourselves three things. One, what is not efficient? Two, France, like many Western powers, is still holding on to the idea of colonialism. But Africa, being the victim, is trying to free itself from all these Western powers. There comes in the concept of neocolonialism. What is neocolonialism? Is the use of economic, political, cultural, and other pressures to influence or control other countries, which were former dependents. Now, this lady in this video talks about the discrepancies that France is using to control Africa and why these discrepancies should be addressed. So in the France-African Youth Summit, this lady points out these discrepancies boldly in the face of the president of France, Macron. So let's watch this video and let's discuss all our thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Then it's important for us to interrogate this very complicated relationship and ask ourselves three things. One, what is not efficient? Two, what is not ethical? Three, where do we see integrity gaps? And to be able to do these three things, we're going to have to be brutally honest. The history of colonization is understandably very important. For Africa, it's a path that is as painful as it is destructive. And the effects of colonization can still be felt to date. And I'm not just saying economically, but even on an interpersonal level. We, as Africans, feel the pain of colonization every single day. Now, the lack of a clear and strong acknowledgement of the continent's pain on this destructive past results in skepticism. And the absence of actions that will further push the acknowledgement is also a major issue in the current France and Africa relationship. In fact, the air of denial that France chooses to sit in is uncomfortable, not only for Africa, but also for France and it does no good for either one of us. How can you trust the source of your pain when the source doesn't acknowledge it? What we end up with is skepticism on what exactly does France stand for? And so we ask you, Mr. President, how strong can a relationship that is built on pain, that is built on skepticism, and that is built on lack of trust really be? We, not just as a team here, but all of us in this room and the 5,000 who helped with the report and the millions more on the continent and off of the continent want a commitment from you, Mr. President, that you will join us in the eradication of La France Afrique, which is a very unfair dominance, and it has to end. <laughs> Furthermore, the breakdown in understanding what France fully stands for is fueled by the continued collaborations 
that France has with agencies, leaders, and individuals who have glaring integrity issues, whilst on the other hand, claiming to be standing for human rights. So on one hand, So on one hand, we have France that is entrenched in issues around racism, around exploitative dominance, and whilst on the other hand, they're still claiming to teach others about democracy. These are two... <laughs> these are two profiles that one cannot fill at the same time. And when you try to do that, we find it rather arrogant. So in this new dispensation, Africa is now reawakening. Africa is trying to tread a new path where there is mutual respect for each and every one, where there is economic benefit for every country that engage in any partnership or trade. This is not a dispensation where Africa is going to be a sole raw producer to the entire world and be disrespected and then a continent where there will be poverty and all these social vices going on but africa wants to rewrite the script so if every country is treating africa it should be with mutual respect thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video comment down below like the video and then subscribe as well to the channel and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Stay blessed.